In this video I will go over how you can use conditional logic in mail merge in Word 2010 using what Microsoft calls rules. By using an if then else statement you can insert one text if a condition in your data is met and a different one if it isn't. We will go over two examples. One involves grade students in a test and the other one involves customer orders and the product's availability. Now let's get started. From the mailings tab, click on start mail merge, select the type of document you'd like to create. I use a normal Word document. Click on select recipients, use existing list. Let's start with the student grades. Click open. Let this one checked. If the first row of the data contains column headers, click OK. As you can see here, here is our data. We have the student's name and his grade. We assume that 5 or above means that the student has passed the test and a grade of 4 and below means the student has failed the test. Let's write a green in here. Click on insert merge field. Let's use the student's name, dear student. We are. And now from the write and insert field section, click on rules. Click on if then else. And this pop up window will come up. Now, this is our if statement. This is the field name that we're comparing against. We'd like to compare against the student's grades. This is the type of comparison we'd like to perform, in our case greater than or equal. And in this field the compare to we're writing the condition that we'd like to check against. In this case we'd like to check if our student's grade is greater than or equal to 5. And in that case if our student's grade is greater than or equal to 5, it means that the student has passed the test and we're going to insert this text. We are glad to inform you that you have passed the test. Now, if our condition is not met and the student's grade is less than 5, we're going to use this text, otherwise insert this text. And in that case, we're sorry to inform you that you have failed the test. So, if the student's grade in the grade field is greater than or equal to 5, we insert this text, otherwise we're going to insert this text. Text with a grade of... Let's also notify our students about their grade by inserting the grade merge field. Now let's use the same font here. Now all, all you have to do is go to our mailings tab again. Let's preview our results. As you can see here John Doe had a grade of 5 so he passed the test. Joe Smith on the other hand failed the test with a grade of 4, etc, etc. Now click on Finish and Merge. Click on Edit Individual Documents. And as you can see here, our documents are ready. And if the student had a grade of 5 and above, we inform him that he has passed the test. Otherwise, we inform him that he has failed the test. 
Now let me show you the second example. Once again from the mailings tab, click on start mail merge, select the type of document you'd like to create, select recipients, we're gonna use our orders data set, click OK once again if the first row of our data contains column headers we will leave this checkbox checked and now here's our orders data set we have a client's name and the product availability if the product is in stock or it's out of stock uh, keep in mind that the capitalization since this is a text string is important here so we'll have to insert our condition exactly as it is in our, our data. Let's go back to our document. Dear, let's greet our customer. Insert manager field again, dear client. A client name will be substituted once mail merge takes place. We'd like to inform you Once again from the rules, click on if then else. If we compare the field that we'd like to compare against is the product availability field. Comparison equal to in stock now. Now we'd like to see if the product that the client has ordered is in stock. Once again, as I said, Capitalization is important here, so since our data in stock is capitalized, we'll have to insert it the same way in Word, otherwise the comparison will always fail. If instead of using in stock with I capitalized, we, we wrote in stock with I not capitalized, then the comparison would always fail, keep that in mind. This is an important, an important thing about uh, text strings. So if your data contains a text string, like it here. So if our product is in stock, we inform you that we inform our client that the product that you have ordered is available and will be dispatched soon now if the product is not in stock it's out of stock we inform our client that the product that he has ordered is not in stock is unfortunately not in stock and we will notify you when it becomes available. Now let's click OK. fix okay now I go back to mailings let's preview our results preview results and as you can see here if the product of the client has ordered is in stock we insert one message and if it isn't we insert a different message you can see it here let's and we're done 
Now let me show you why it's important, why capitalization matters. Once again, as I said, select recipient list. Let's go over it once again, orders. Okay, dear. Client. Once again, rules if then else. Now let's write in stock using all lowercase letters. Your product is in stock. Your product is not in stock. As you can see here, in stock is in lower case, but in our data, the I is capitalized. So let's see what happens if, when we'd like to compare against the text string, the two text strings are not exactly the same, even the capitalization. As you can see here, Let's preview our results, and as you can see here, now the comparison always fails, and we inform our, our clients that the product is not in stock, even if it is. So this is an important thing that you should keep in mind when using conditional logic, using rules and the if-then-else statement in Word to create dynamic documents automatically depending on condition in your data. That's it for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.